Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And for this one, I'm going to be showing to you guys how I use tretinoin or retinoids in my skincare routine. So kung napanood nyo na yung previous skincare routine video ko, which was my anti-acne nighttime routine, alam niyo na na ginagamit ko yung tretinoin as an anti-acne medication. As in, prescribed siya sa akin ng derm ko. Pero yung paggamit namin ng tretinoin is every other night lang. And nagkataon sa video na yon rest night ko siya from tretinoin. So for this video, ayan, tretinoin night ko ngayon and I'm going to be showing to you guys yung pagkasunod-sunod ng routine ko during the nights na gumagamit ako ng tretinoin. Now, I'm also gonna be showing you some tips and tricks on how to prevent dryness and irritation which is definitely one of the biggest problems sa mga naresetahan ng tretinoin. Kapag nagpa-purge sila, grabe talaga yung pag-flake ng skin, yung pag-dry ng skin and parang namamaga or parang sobrang sensitive siya. And yes, speaking of reseta, I do highly recommend na kapag gumagamit kayo ng tretinoin na naka-supervise talaga siya ng dirt at yung nireseta nila yun sa inyo. Kasi talaga yung redness and irritation, mangyayari at mangyayari talaga yan in your tretinoin journey. It's just a matter of kailan siya mangyayari. And may mga times na kapag nangyayari siya sa akin, pati ako, parang minsan hindi ko alam kung ano yung gagawin ko. So, mas maganda and parang mas nakakakampante yung feeling na meron kang matatakbuhan na expert and hindi yung parang nagsasarili lang kayo tapos hindi nyo na alam kung ano yung gagawin. So, for those na interested mag-tretinoin, be sure to have yourself checked by a derm first. But for those na naresetahan na and naghahanap ng mga tips and tricks on how to apply it more effectively sa routine nila, then this video is for you. Also, a small portion of this video is in partnership with K-Beauty Cafe. Some of the products na mahanap nyo in this video can be found in their Shopee and Lazada store. Pero yung mga tips na ipapakita ko sa inyo in this video still apply in general regardless of kung anong brands ng skincare yung gamit nyo sa routine ninyo. So that being said, wala nang any-any, let us begin. So yung skin ko ngayon, actually meron akong isang layer ng concealer ngayon sa face ko, which is obviously makeup. And kapag may makeup, alam nyo na, matik, magdo-double cleanse tayo. And sa previous skincare video ko, pinakita ko sa inyo how I use cleansing oils sa isang skincare routine. So in this video, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo how I use cleansing balms. So yung cleansing balm na gagamitin ko for this routine is actually one that I'm really, really loving right now. This is the Beauty of Joson Radiance Cleansing Balm. Nakuha ko to around mga late last year and actually medyo na-stop ko siyang gamitin kasi gusto ko muna ubusin yung mga cleansing oils ko before I move on to cleansing balms. But anyway, naubos na yung isang cleansing oil ko so now I'm going to be using this. But before I put this on guys, reminder lang before kayo maglagay ng mga cleansing balms or cleansing oils sa double cleanse ninyo, make sure naghugasan nyo na yung kamay ninyo because we're going to be putting this on dry hands. So ayan, bubuksan ko na siya and kukunin ko na yung spatula and we're gonna get ourselves a dollop. A dollop? Ang arte ng dolo. <laughs> okay, so ganito karami yung kinuha ko. Ilalagay ko siya sa kamay ko para makita ninyo. And then what you do with this is i-rub mo siya sa kamay mo para mag-warm up siya ng konti. And then may kita ninyo, ang ganda, magme-melt siya bigla instantly. Magiging ganitong oil consistency siya. And then that's when you know na ilalagay mo na siya sa dry face mo. So again, reminder, dry face, huwag niyong basahin yung face ninyo. Kasi ganun niya may na-melt yung makeup. Alright, so isa-spread ko lang siya around my face to melt down the concealer na nilagay ko sa skin ko. And sobrang nagugustuhan ko talaga tong Beauty of Jawson so far. Kasi yung gamit niya dito sa cleansing oil na to is a lot of really calming and soothing ingredients. And very very important yung calming and soothing, lalo na kapag gumagamit kayo ng tretinoin. Kasi nga diba, nakaka-irritate siya ng skin. So, as much as possible, and mananotice nyo rin sa video na to, marami akong i-incorporate na mga calming and soothing ingredients talaga to prevent that redness and irritation that you get from tretinoin. Also, this one pala guys, one of the few cleansing balms, I think, na fragrance-free. So, sa mga sobrang sensitive yung skin dyan, this is perfect for you. This also has oat extract and rice extract very, very soothing and calming ingredients yun for your skin. So, highly, highly recommend kung sensitive yung skin ninyo. Ito, this never irritated my skin in any way. And as you can see, well, di nyo masyadong makikita kasi very light lang naman yung concealer na nilagay ko. Pero, instantly din yan na may melt yung makeup. Alright, so I think okay na to. So, magbabalaw muna ako ng face. Alright, so we are back. And as you can see, basa pa rin yung mukha ko. Hindi ko na siya tinawil dry because magka-cleanse pa rin naman ulit tayo because double cleansing nga. So, move na tayo agad to our regular cleanser. And this one I'm using is the Pyun Kang Yule Acne Facial Cleanser. So, this one, ilang beses ko na to na-mention sa channel na to. Really, one of the most affordable Korean facial cleansers that you can get. Ito guys, mas mura siya usually doon sa Cosrx 
first and also medyo mas okay to for sensitive skin kasi ito talaga wala siyang mga active ingredients this is just a very gentle straightforward cleanser but it also does have soothing ingredients which again soothing nga ulit talaga yung parang thin natin ngayon because we want to prevent irritation from the tretinoin and also this one as mentioned nga sa previous videos ko very very gentle yung mga surfactants or yung mga cleansing agents na ginagamit nila dito alright so maglalagay na ako ng cleanser and usually ang nilalagay ko lang naman dito is around mga size ng 25 centavos mga ganyan usually enough na yun and you really don't need to put a lot kasi parang ginagawa mo na lang ngayon is sinatanggal mo na lang yung parang residue so you just wanna give yourself a very very gentle cleanse and yun yung isang recommendation ko whenever cleansing while using tretinoin use gentle and very soothing cleansers so again this is why yung pinili ko is yung sapyon kang yul kasi talaga a lot of their products really focus on yung maintaining your skin barrier and as you can see guys ito hindi siya masyadong bumubula kahit tagdagan ko siya ng water wait tadagdagan ko siya ng water ha? ayan as you can see marami na siyang water pero very minor lang talaga yung pagbula niya because this is a very very gentle cleanser pero wag niyong iisipin na just because hindi siya bumubula na hindi siya parang powerful na cleanser it just really means that it's very very gentle on your skin also one of the reasons why i chose this cleanser is because marami tong mga soothing and calming extracts so this has green tea chamomile and centella asiatica all very soothing ingredients for the skin all right and after mga 30 seconds of applying it into your skin pwede mo na siyang i-wash off all right so katatapos ko nang i-towel dry yung face ko and kung meron kayong mga serums in your skincare routine like for example niacinamide serums serums for dark spots at this point in the routine yun na siya gagamitin after you cleanse your face so as of now yung serum na ginagamit ko for dark spots na ubusan na ako and inaantay ko pa yung order ko so wala muna akong serum na ilalagay for this routine but ayun nga if meron kayong serum at this point in the routine yun na siya ilalagay all right and then kapag nagamit niyo na yung serums niyo we can move directly or immediately to the next step which is going to be moisturizer. And yes, doon sa first time pa lang pinapanood yung mga skincare routine videos ko, baka curious kayo bakit hindi ko pa nilalagay yung tretinoin, especially since medication siya. Di ba usually yung mga medication, yun yung mga nauuna? And the answer to that is not necessarily or not always, especially if your skin is sensitive. So the reason why maglalagay muna tayo ng moisturizer is to create a buffer para kapag nilagay na natin yung tretinoin, hindi siya agad-agad mag a sa skin. And baka merong nag-iisip, hindi baka pag mabagal yung pag-absorb, baka less effective siya. Actually, with retinoin, medyo may pagkabaliktad siya because the faster it absorbs into your skin, the higher the chance na pwedeng ma-irritate yung skin ninyo. So yung ginagawa ng ibang mga derms minsan for those na parang baguhan pa lang sa retinoin or generally just want to avoid yung dryness or yung irritation or yung redness na makuha mo from retinoin, what they usually ask you to do is to put on a layer of moisturizer first. And don't worry, hindi mo binablock yung retinoin, mag absorb pa rin siya sa skin ninyo. Pero mas mabagal lang siyang mag absorb And since this is a night routine anyway, ilang hours din naman kayo matutulog. So, wala namang problema with that. Alright, so mag-apply na tayo ng moisturizers and gusto lang ipakita sa inyo guys yung current rotation ko of moisturizers. Ito sila. And again, gusto ka lang ulitin baka meron mga first timers dyan na nanonood. Hindi ko to ginagamit all at the same time. As in, pumipili lang ako ng isa. So, itong first two, baka nakita niyo na siya dun sa previous anti-acne nighttime routine video ko. These are my favorite options for nighttime moisturizers kapag on a budget kayo. Kasi itong dalawa talaga, sobrang sulit sila. Itong si Avino, alam niya na very easy to find in any Watson store. Around mga 170 to 180 pesos lang siya, napakamura. And then itong Iliun, alam niya na sobrang queen of budget ito. Itong malaki nila na parang 200 ml na, 500 plus pesos lang to. Pero 200 ml na siya. And sa estimate ko, ah, ang 200 ml, siguro more than half a year mo na siya gagamitin. So ito yung marirecommend ko if gusto niyo talaga ng parang value for your money. And also kunyari gusto niyo lang bumili ng parang one time, big time, tapos ayaw niyo na ulit bumili for a long time. Ito yung sobrang recommend ko. Queen of value talaga. But the moisturizer that I'm going to be using tonight is this one because I am currently very obsessed with this moisturizer. This one is from Biowish Trend. This is their Pro Biome Balance Cream. And ang masasabi ko lang dito guys is, oh my God, this is one of those moisturizers talaga na sobrang perfect yung consistency, yung gustong gusto ko talaga. So minamention ko sa ibang mga videos ko na yung parang favorite ko is parang gel cream na type. Pero kapag nilagay mo siya sa skin mo, hindi yung parang mag absorb na siya agad. Ang gusto ko is parang yung nafe-feel mo pa rin na parang sinisil in niya yung moisture sa skin mo. And mama, this is one of those moisturizers moisturizers and more. Kaya sobrang obsessed talaga ako dito ngayon. So dahil ito yung current obsession ko out of this three ngayon, ito yung gagamitin natin para mapakita ko rin sa inyo. Alright? So what I'm going to do is, 
buksan ko lang siya and kunin ko yung spatula ko. So, hindi naman makailangan ng ganito. Medyo parang ka-artihan ko lang to. This one is from The Collective. This is their metal spatula. So, alam ko marami din sa inyo yung hindi nyo gusto yung parang nilalagay yung finger ninyo. So, kung ganun kayo, you can use a spatula. Hindi naman makailangan ng metal spatula. Alright. So, kukuha lang ko ng very small amount. And then, ilalagay natin siya dito. Mga ganyan lang. So, again, mga 25 centavo size of a moisturizer. And then, idadot ko na siya on all the sides of my face. Especially doon sa parts na nagda-dry. Which, again, ako, dito talaga usually nagda-dry yung face ko. Especially from tretinoin. Daan na lang din natin yung other parts of the face. And, isa-spread na natin siya. This one is really rich in propolis extract. Propolis bar propolis. Propolis na lang for this video. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, propolis extract, sobrang-sobrang soothing extract sila. Ang ganda rin ng balance ito of yung mga moisturizing ingredients because it is a very lightweight finish pero yun nga ma mo na moisturize yung skin mo which is my favorite thing talaga especially for night creams lalo na sa gabi meron kaming aircon diba so medyo mas prone to dryness yung skin mo which is why I really like using more moisturizing or parang creamy moisturizers para hindi agad-agad magda-dry yung skin ko pero hindi naman din pwede yung parang sobrang thick na moisturizers kasi oily yung skin type ko so this one talaga magandang balance siya siguro parang caveat lang dito is medyo may kamahalan siya pero guys, for those na merong budget for this, as in, highly, highly recommend. You will not be disappointed by this product. As in, I love it so much. Sobrang soothing sa skin. And also, medyo mababaw lang to. This is actually considered fragrance-free. But the smell of the honey or the propolis, mwah! Ang ganda-ganda talaga. But anyway, ayun siya. Nalagyan ko na ng one layer of moisturizer yung face ko. So we move on to the next step of this routine, which is finally, maglalagay na tayo ng tretinoin. Alright, so ito na siya. This is currently the tretinoin that I'm using. Actually, pinakita ko na rin to sa previous video ko. But anyway, this is a tretinoin 0.1% microsphere gel. So 0.1% is actually nasa high-end na siya ng tretinoin. But yung 0.1% is actually not for everyone. Kasi may mga iba na gumagamit ng tretinoin na 0.1% Sobrang parang nasunog daw yung mukha nila. Yun yung feeling. Because 0.1% is too strong for them. So yung mga ibang ginagamit lang nila is the lower percentages. Mas hiyang sila doon. Sa mga parang 0.05 or parang 0.025%. Mas nakakita sila ng results and also less irritation there. So ayun, kaya rin ang sinasabi ko, mas okay talaga na may supervision ng derm yung paggamit yun ng tretinoin. Kasi sila yung makakapagsabi kung anong percent yung okay sa inyo. And again, ipapalag ko na rin sa video na to, merong free consultation ang mga accredited institutions ng Philippine Dermatological Society. Maglalagay ako ng instruction sa description box if gusto nyo i-avail yung free consultation na yun with a board certified dermatologist. But anyway, maglalagay ilalagay na ako ng tretinoin and as usual, ang ilalagay lang natin is a very small pea size amount. Ganyan lang dapat siya kaliit. Huwag yung masyadong lakihan or sobrahan yung paglagay. Actually, better to be more conservative on the amount of tretinoin na ilalagay ninyo. Kasi talaga kapag nasobrahan kayo, redness galore, irritation galore, dryness, peeling, kung ano mang pwedeng side effect ang mangyari, it's better not to risk it talaga. And especially naman ng tretinoin, long term siya na medication eh. So walang magandang magagawa yung kapag marami kayong ilalagay. So always remember, less is more with these things. Alright, and then sa paglagay ng tretinoin, i-apply ulit natin yung 13-dot technique ni Dr. Sam Bunting para even yung paglagay ng tretinoin sa face. So unahin natin dito sa forehead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99
mas mas spread around mo siya, hindi siya yung nag-absorb agad. So, ayun. Kasi may iba-ibang klaseng tretinoin, cream, or gel. And again, it depends on your derm kung ano yung ibibigay nilang kind of tretinoin sa inyo. Usually, cream yung binibigay sa mga beginners talaga to really prevent the irritation on your skin. And para mas mas spread out mo talaga siya sa skin ninyo. And if gumagamit kayo ng cream by any chance, kapag meron kayong leftovers, minsan nilalagay ko siya dito sa part na to ng hands ko. Kasi ito, very prone to aging din yung skin natin dito. Kasi itong part ng hands natin, medyo natatapatan din siya talaga ng araw. So, minsan merong nagde-develop na parang wrinkles dito as we age. Pero very optional lang naman yun. Huwag na kayong maglagay ng medication dito. Yung mga leftover lang, kunyari may natirang cream sa kamay ninyo. You can spread it around here if you want. But anyway, we move on to the next step of this routine. And this one, medyo optional ko lang siyang ginagawa. Pero very, very highly recommended siya sa mga beginners. Or for those na very, very sensitive or prone to sensitivity yung skin ninyo. And that is... Yes, to apply another layer of moisturizer. And ang tawag ng mga dermatologists dito is the sandwich method. So sandwich siya kasi gumagawa kayo ng parang layers. So you put on a layer of moisturizer first. And then you put on your retinoid or your tretinoin. And then maglalagay ka pa ng isang layer sa mga parts na medyo sensitive yung skin mo. Or parang nagkakaroon ka ng sensitivities doon to help protect the skin barrier there. So maglalagay ulit tayo pero this time medyo mas konti na yung amount. So, siguro parang kalahati of what I put a while ago. Kalahati ba yun? Hindi ko sure pero tansyay nyo na lang kalahati nung nilagay nyo sa kanina. Ako personally kalahati lang ilalagay ko because my skin type is a bit oily. Pero kung dry yung skin nyo by all means you can put the same amount of moisturizer. Basta for moisturizer, apply as needed talaga. Kung feeling nyo, kailangan nyo pa ng more moisturizer kasi magda-dry yung skin ninyo, go ahead. Alright, so ilalagay ko lang siya again sa mga areas na nagda-dry yung skin ko which is this part, this part, and the sides of my lips. Minsan nagda-dry din yung dito ko. So lalagyan ko pa siya ng isang layer. Yung dito, hindi ko na siya masyadong lalagyan kasi hindi naman nagda-dry yung skin ko dyan. And what we do is, we spread it very, very gently. Actually, this time, pinapat ko lang siya. Kasi kapag kinalat mo, yung tretinoin, parang uusog din siya dun sa area. So you don't want that to happen. Gusto mo lang talaga i-seal in yung moisture sa skin mo. Ayan. So a lot of people think na parang kailangan isang layer ulit sa buong mukha mo. Not really, just doon sa area specifically na nagda-dry talaga yung skin ninyo. And malalaman nyo yan through time. Kapag gumagamit na kayo ng gumagamit ng tretinoin, malalaman ninyo. Kasi ma-feel nyo yan eh. Kunyari, in the daytime, ibang mga areas ng face ninyo na you're going to feel na medyo sensitive talaga sila or nagda-dry or parang may konting redness. So, tansyahin nyo na lang kung saan yung dry areas ninyo. So, ayun. Tapos na natin gamitin yung isa pang layer ng moisturizer. Tapos na natin i-sandwich yung tretinoin. And at this point of the routine, actually, pwede yung tapos na kayo. Kung wala na kayo ibang mga products na nilalagay sa skin ninyo, you can go ahead with the rest of your night routine. Ayan, go to brush kayo or what. Pero a very, very common question that I get is, kapag nag-tretinoin ka ba, pwede ka pa bang gumamit ng mga spot treatments? Like for example, this one sa Oxicure. Pwede mo pa ba siyang gamitin sa face mo? And tinanong ko rin to sa derm ko, and the short answer is, technically, if kaya ng skin mo, if hindi sobrang sensitive yung skin mo, you can put a spot treatment like this, but only on very, very active pimples. So kunyari, meron kayong parang parating or parang galit na galit na pimple na you can put it there. Pero yung mga iba kasi diba nilalagay nila ito sa mga red marks or parang mga dark spots nila. Ang advice ng derm ko is, huwag mo na raw ilagay doon. Doon lang sa parang galit na galit na pimple. Which is my point nga rin naman, kasi yung tretinoin, ginagawa niya na yung job doon sa mga dark spots and red marks. Because tretinoin helps with that too. And another thing about spot treatments, kung ginagamit niyo yung benzoyl peroxide as a spot treatment, yun yung malaking no. As in, yun yung bawal na bawal talaga. As in, bawal gamitin ang benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin no win together kasi sobrang sobrang irritating yon pero kung yung ginagamit nyo is yung adapalin which is another kind of retinoid yun yung pwedeng isabay alright but anyway going back to this one maglalagay pa rin ako pero doon lang sa active acne ko which is isa lang siya and again usually nilalagay ko to sa red spots ko but tonight I'm not going to alright so as you can see meron akong maliit na pimple dito actually hindi ko alam kung kita siya sa camera pero idadag ko siya. Actually, may isa pa pala ako dito. Ayan na, may isa pa ako dito. So, that's two. And again, meron ako mga dark spots dito. Pero hindi ko sila lalagyan tonight. I'm going to let the tretinoin do its job. Alright, and that is it. That is my tretinoin skincare routine. And I hope nakatulong to for those na parang baguhan pa lang sa tretinoin. Or for those na gumagamit ng tretinoin pero parang sobrang 
nagda-dry, nagda-flaky, or nag-red talaga yung skin nila. And another tip, of course, habang gumagamit kayo ng tretinoin, just always trust the process, trust in your derm, and remember that tretinoin needs a lot, a lot, a lot of time para gumana siya. As in sa akin, guys, before ako nakakita ng significant results, almost... 6 to 9 months talaga. Yun yung naging period sa akin. But it could be even longer for you. Kasi yung mga ibang kakilala ko, minsan a year yung inantay nila before sila nakakita ng results sa tretinoin. So just always be patient and be consistent and then dun kayo makakita ng results. And if worried kayo sa purging ninyo, hindi nyo alam if normal ba siyang part ng process, again, that is when an expert comes in, which is why it's always best to use stretinoin with the supervision of your dermatologist. Tapos kung meron nangyayari na medyo uncomfortable kayo, dun nyo sila makakausap. But that is it for this video guys. Matutulog na ako. But if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!